Okay, um, my name is Amanda Cope and I'm a designer maker and I make all of my own products um, from beginning to end. I, um, I make a lot of birds, um, but I do lots of different animals like cats, dogs, uh, hares. Um, but what I do is I take a piece of wood, um, these ones down here, I put a piece of paper on and then I paint the eyes, beaks and tails. And then I started to design my own patterns, um, but I still kept true and glazed them and hand painted them. Um, and they're all made with sterling silver. Uh, I then thought it'd be really cool if I started to take those same designs that I worked with in the beginning um, and make them into silver. So because I'd taken some college classes in the evening, um, I thought, oh, well, I'll give this a little go. And I started to design my own pieces um, from the wood. So I thought, right, okay, so I'm gonna try and make this in silver and then put some gold on it as well. So then I learned how to put gold plating on through videos um, like Sutton Tools. They have a, a, a link on there to show you how to put gold plating on. And then I thought, well, you know, I want to work with glass, but I can't afford all those lovely tools. So how can I make some jewelry that looks like glass? So I started to look at recyclable acrylics because I thought I should do something good for the environment. I didn't want to work with products that were made up of things that I, I didn't feel comfortable working with. And of course that's close to your skin, so I thought it would be nice to work with something that was also um, recyclable. So then I started to put those same patterns onto little bits of acrylic and I put gold and silver on the back. And you can see that each pattern was designed by me and my husband. Um, we didn't really know how to design patterns, we just had to go. Um, and we took it from there. Uh, Last year, we decided we'd take it a step further. So we thought, right, let's do something a little bit more modern. We love the glass look, but we really love um, sea glass. So we thought, well, how do we get sea glass? And we thought, right, okay. So we looked everywhere for this lovely acrylic, absolutely stunning. It's 100% recyclable, and then it can be recycled again. So all the leftovers from this um, can be put into your bin and it can be recycled, it's completely safe. And we decided that we'd make some nice, simple designs um, that were really modern and reflected the seaside. Um, and we put gold and silver on them again. Um, this is called Pebble. So this was the inspiration. Um, we were in Sidmouth and um, there's a lot of washed up glass uh, from an old glass factory. Uh, they used to throw the old glass onto the beach and me and my husband, we love to scour the beach looking for this glass. And we love it, but we didn't know how to work with it. So I came back and that's when I got the inspiration um, to work with this material, which I thought looked like sea glass. And I wanted it to look like pebbles um, from the beach. So that's exactly what I did. I made a couple little silver circles and then I made this sort of uh, reticulated sort of circular um, piece in the middle um, just by bringing the silver to a melting point. I wanted it to look quite raw and then I took the recycled acrylic and put some gold uh, sort of gold leafing on top um, just to give it a nice distressed look and also give it a bit of light. I thought that if it had a bit of gold it would shimmer like glass. So it still have that sort of softness of the washed up glass on the beach, um, but then the gold kind of gave it a bit more life and color. And when you wear it, it's absolutely stunning. Really gorgeous piece. Um, I also started off as an artist before I was actually a jewelry maker. Um, I've been making art for, oh, I don't know, since I was a kid. Um, I used to do large scale uh, buildings uh, inside and outside, and large canvases. Uh, when I got my equipment and started making the jewelry, I thought it would be really nice to maybe make some accent uh, works to go with the collection. So I make these one-off pieces. Um, Every one is slightly different. I use lots of different materials to make it, and this is called Bird Nest. 
It's actually drawings that I've made and then I've used several different types of tools and um, paints and equipments to get this lovely gold reflective moon and then the bird nest down at the bottom. Uh, yeah, I do have a website. Uh, so you can look on my website, which is marmu.co.uk. Uh, you can also find me at Country Living Events, uh, Kirstie Alsop Events, and I also sell to galleries and shops across the UK. Um, Historic Royal Palaces has some of the, uh, has a nice selection of work as well, so you can find me there.